Don Koss Jr. back with you, wrestling fans. Now, in the last segment, you heard Burt Prentice making all sorts of commentary about the Colorado kid, about what he's going to do to him, calling the Colorado kid names. Well, but there's that's a all reason. he's done, though. Right. We've got the video right in front of us that, that you pulled up. I mean, the, the, granted, the audio's scrambled, and it, it's all but destroyed. But listen, let's go back in this, this saga of Burt Prentice and the Colorado kid. I mean, tonight he's got him in Lebanon. He's got a, oh, my God. See, look, he's going to stoop to nothing. This is an evil, vile human being, this Burt Prentice. As a matter of fact, even in the deal that Colorado signed with him, um, however many years ago it was, it was an 80-20 deal. He knew what he had. Now he's cut it off. i seen Colorado sitting on the side of the road with his car uh, because he's having to drive some beater because uh, Burt Prentice repossessed his truck. Well, right. And, you know, and Col Colorado kid, he's a good man. Burt Prentice is just Ooh, bitter. God, bitter is the man. word for Burt Prentice, and you're going to see There's why a lot of words for Burt Prentice. He has stopped at nothing. He's bringing out, for Christmas chaos, he's bringing out the Christmas ghost. He says, it's the ghost of Colorado past. What the heck does that mean? Colorado's wrestled all over the United States. And he doesn't even have the guts to tell Colorado Kid who his opponent's going to be Christmas night. At least tonight he knows he's facing Chris Michaels in Lebanon. But see, Burt is out to do everything he can to destroy the kid. Shane. And, and now Shane, Shane didn't deserve. See, Shane didn't deserve any of no, this. No, he was see, surprised. He's kicking him. He's, he put that gut across him three times. Squashed him. The kid probably broke at least two ribs off that big. Anyway, I'm telling you. And he was setting him up right here. He wanted Colorado to come out, give him the Rocky Mountain flat top, and finish the whole thing. Finish this young kid's career. But Colorado ain't got that kind of heart. Right. And Colorado's taking the microphone. He's, you know, Bart's saying, "Give him a flat top. Give him a flat top." Now look, Colorado's hesitating because he's got a good heart inside. Burt Prentice lost control because when things are right, they're right. Colorado's an honest guy. He is, I mean, he is what he is. He's a good human being. Burt Prentice, well, the picture says it all. He is what he is, and he's bringing out the ghost of Christmas past. Um, you know, and Colorado's been through a lot of battles. He's fought all over the Mid-South. He's fought all over the United States. It could be anybody, but uh, Burt's a sick guy. Okay, and here's Colorado Kid. He's telling Bert that he's not going to do this. He's tired of him. He's fed up with him, and he's fired. Now, that <laughs> made Bert angry. He gave him a little sissy slap because he's so upset. Oh, and, yes! And that's what he gets for it. Colorado did not give a sissy slap. He puts him in the yes! towel. He gave him the Rocky Mountain flat top, and now he's celebrating because he's finally severed his ties oh, with my someone God. who's been ripping See, him off this, this whole time. That's what you call getting your notice right there, two feet in the face, Christmas chaos, Lebanon, Tennessee. I don't care what. Burt Prentice says, Ghost of Christmas, past, present, future. The doctors tell me that I can take you out of here for Christmas right. as long as I have you back by the 27th. I promise you, I found the guy. I found the reason you're here. You know, I've been trying to get you out of here for a long time, but they'll let me sign you out for just 48 hours. Come on back. Maybe we can bring you back to reality when you get your revenge on this jerk. I found him. He's in Nashville, Tennessee, and I got him already signed for a match. And all you got to do is come take his head off. When he sees you walk out through that curtain with me, he'll probably faint dead away. It's been a long time. You got to come back Christmas night. Just come on home with me, and I promise, hell or high water, I'll get you out of this place. You do this favor for me. He's got this gold piece of metal I want really bad. You do this favor for me, and I'll get you out of this hellhole and give you the life you deserve. You know he's the only reason you're here. He put you here, him and that sick family. And you know what he did to your mama. Come on, come home with me Christmas, and I promise you the best present you ever had. You have him, and I mean there's no rules. You knock his head off. Hell, you can kill him for all I care. Christmas, you come home with me, okay? Christmas Chaos 1998, the Nashville.